Dear friends, first of all, thanks for watching our travel videos and subscribing to our YouTube channel. This time, we would like to share our travel memories of Tokyo, Japan with you. It was one of our pre-COVID trips a few years back. It was a business trip, only for a couple of days that we had in Tokyo, so we had some opportunities to look around Tokyo. In this short video, we will share magnificent day and nighttime aerial view of Tokyo from the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. We'll visit the famous Tsukiji fish market. We'll look around Sensoji Temple in Asakusa. A brief visit to the Tokyo Stock Exchange. We'll meet some sumo wrestlers. We'll cross the famous Shibuya crossing with thousands of people. Visit the Tokyo Tower at night. Ride on Japan's high-speed Shinkansen bullet trains en route to Hakone Lake. Although it's just a few years back, but posting travel videos on YouTube was not on our radar. So recorded less video that time and more photos. So it will be like a compilation of short video recordings mixed with some still photographies for our memory archiving project that we started in June 2022. Watch this video to explore Tokyo a bit differently. Our hotel was in the Nihonbashi district of Tokyo. It's the banking district of Tokyo. The hotel was very expensive, but the rooms were tiny. There was not enough space to move around in the room, which is typical scenario in Japan's hotels. Next morning, watching hundreds of well-dressed office goers at 8 a.m. was something special. Probably shows the punctuality and the working culture of the very hard-working Japanese society. Workplace defines Japanese life. Japanese work extremely long hours and often they socialize with their bosses after work with very long drinking session which may last until next morning. So you can imagine getting a right work-life balance could be very difficult at times. We wanted to see Tokyo from top. So we visited Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building a couple of times on one morning and once again in the evening. Look at this spectacular view. Picture tells thousand words. Perhaps in Tokyo's case, this tells a story of 40 million. As the most populous city in the world, with an estimated 40 million residents, it's an amazing place. Tokyo's extraordinary development since the Second World War, congested skyscrapers, a vast scale of the city metropolis. This was something special. A memorable experience with extraordinary view of a city. Next, we went to the famous Tsukiji Fish Market. Tsukiji Fish Market is a major tourist attraction for both domestic and overseas visitors in Tokyo. It was a super busy fish market in the morning. Look at these strange looking small cars which were roaming around at a very high speed with precision without knocking anybody transferring fish packages from one side to another side of the market. We missed the live auctions of the wholesale fish in the morning, but it was a super cool experience walking around and inside the market so big, with amazing collection of fish cutting knives and fresh fishes on sale. All the market story goes back to 16th century. Opened in 1935, the area contains retail markets, restaurants and associated restaurant supply stores. Japan's metro system is just amazing, with 9 lines and 180 stations, 7 million traveling every day. Look at these coin-operated umbrellas. You can take this freely once returned properly. It rains heavily in Japan quite often, so umbrellas are on offer on many locations, especially at the metro stations. It was always crowded, heavily crowded, but it was so organized. Everyone was queuing in a line, no pushing, and missed a train? Then just wait for next few minutes, as they are so frequent. We love the traditionally dressed ladies in kimonos. Cool experience all around. Exciting. Next, we visited Sensoji Temple, an ancient Buddhist temple located in Asakusa of Tokyo. It is Tokyo's oldest temple and one of the most significant. 
the most widely visited religious site in the world, with 30 million visitors annually, it was a crowded and spectacular place. Adjacent to the temple, there is a five-story pagoda, the Asakusa Shinto Shrine. Omikujiya written fortunes offered at shrines and temples in Japan. Usually, Omikuji requires a small offerings of like 100 yuan and are chosen randomly from a box. At Shinsoji Temple, we picked up an Omikuji to try our luck, not to be shared. This very local rickshaw rides is a perfect accompaniment to the Asakusa Temple area. In our mind, Japan means sumo wrestling. Next, it was our time to meet some sumo wrestlers. We visited one of the famous sumo arena in Tokyo, but on that day there was no wrestling. Surprisingly though, we met a couple of sumo wrestlers outside. They were there to greet people. They were so nice to take photos with us. It was a moment of truth, as wrestlers were huge, massive compared to our size. Yes, next we visited Tokyo Stock Exchange. Probably not one of the most touristy choice in Tokyo, but we wanted to visit Tokyo Stock Exchange, the third largest stock exchange in the world and the largest in Asia. We wanted to experience the shouting and the trading life. But when we went on the tour, the floor of the exchange was a bit empty, as most of the traders have left exchange floors to trade online. There were some gaming stations where one can mock a share trading session. By the time it was evening, so we went straight to observe and cross the world famous Shibo crossing with thousands of people. Nearly 3,000 people crossed the crossing at each of the green lights. Opened in 1973, the crossing is inundated with over 300,000 people on each day. There is a Starbucks coffee shop at one of the corners, which is a popular place to take a bird's eye view of the Shibua crossing. Obviously, this amazing and impressive crossing, the world famous Shibua crossing, is one of the most famous tourist attractions in Tokyo. This crossing is so iconic that it was used in Tokyo Olympic promotion video. We were just speechless. So many people together. We joined the crowd to cross the crossing. It was a great feeling, lost among the Japanese people at the heart of Tokyo. It was raining most of the day, and in the evening it became very windy. We wanted to go to the top of the Tokyo Tower, but it was close for the heavy wind, so no luck there. So we went back to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building to take some night aerial shots of Tokyo. It was just breathtaking. Nighttime aerial view were so spectacular that we couldn't stop taking photos. It's so gorgeous, so many houses, lights. It's fascinating to look at the night view of the most popular city in the world. Next morning, it was our time to experience and ride on Japan's high-speed bullet trains called Shinkansen. We took the famous white bullet trains en route to our Hakone Lake tour. We had a half hour waiting before our train. While we were waiting at the platform, a few Shinkansen trains passed us in super speed. That was lightning speed even when they passed through the busy station. 
Look at the cleaning stops. Cleaning the train between the arrival and the next departure. Everyone walks like a clock. They were so busy cleaning the train before we gone on board. Shinkansen has a top speed of 320 km per hour and carries around 1 million passengers per day. Over Shinkansen's 50 plus years history, carrying over 10 billion passengers, there has not been a single passenger fatality or injury on board due to derailment or collisions. We kept our camera rolling while on board and it was just an amazing experience. Obviously, daily passengers were not that excited as we were, but look at the real-time footage. It was almost impossible to watch and focus on any of the passing buildings, even at a distance. Riding on Shinkansen was part of a day tour to Japan's Fuji Hakone Izu National Park, west of Tokyo. Our tour plan was to go up the Fuji, up to 2,500 meters by bus, but poor weather closed the road, so that part of the tour was cancelled. So we went for a boat cruise on Hakone Lake before taking the famous gondola ride to watch Mount Fuji from a distance. The gondola ride was slow but beautiful. It was in April, so it was a bit cold and windy. However, the gondola was full and panoramic view of Hakone Lake was breathtaking. Hakone Lake is one of the largest crater lakes in the world with the Mount Fuji, one of the most active volcanoes in the world, standing in the background scene. It was beautiful. We spent a fair bit of time at the summit, but couldn't see the peak of Mount Fuji. We wanted to have a clear view of the Mount Fuji, but it was not to be, because on that day, Mount Fuji remained behind the cloud, completely covered. So friends, this was our short trip to Tokyo. We tried to cover as many attractions as possible in just two days. In summary, Tokyo is a marvelous city with so many characters and attractions on a wide range of spectrum. The bullet trains, hard working life, amazing fish market, the super busy Shibuya crossing, breathtaking view of the city of nearly 40 million people. We just love Tokyo. Hope you enjoyed our video on Tokyo. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video.